Well, we're going to take the this parabola. I know it's a parabola because there's only one squared term, so it's got to be a parabola. And we're going to put it in standard form. Now notice this is the standard form for when your y is being squared. And remember, if your y is being squared, then it's going to open sideways, either right or left. Um, and it's going to be right if the leading co if, if p is positive, this p right here, if that's positive, it's opening right. If that p is negative, it's opening left. So we're going to put this equation in this form, and then we're going to use that information to find our directrix, which I'll go ahead and use this little side note here. The directrix is going to be the, the vertical line in this case on the outside, and the focus is going to be the point on the inside of the parabola. And this distance right here, the distance from the directrix to the, to the vertex, is P, and it's also the same as the distance from the vertex to the focus. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and complete the square. So this is going to be, um, actually, you know what I'll do first is I'm going to move everything over. I'm going to move these things over to the right side. So negative 8x minus 25. Now I'm going to complete the square by adding 9 to both sides because that's half of 6 squared. So I get y plus 3 squared equals, add these together, you get negative 16. So factor out, and factor out a negative 8 out of here, and I get negative 8x plus 2. Now, doing that tells me that 4p equals negative 8, which means p, divide both sides by 4, p equals negative 2, which means the distance right here, that distance is negative 2. So now I can find all of my information based upon that. So I'm going to draw my graph in here. So here's, uh, let me do that again. Here's my y-axis, there's my x-axis. My point, uh, let me do this in gold. My point is negative 2 comma negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3. Remember, you're taking the opposites of what's in there. Negative 2, negative 3 is right here. I know it opens because the y is squared. I know that it's opening. And also because the p is negative, I know it opens left. Okay, so that means the directrix is going to be right here to the right. That's my directrix, which happens to be the y-axis. So that's x equals 0. That's the equation of the directrix. And my, my focus is right on the inside right there. And so my graph does this. So my focus is going to be Uh, so that point, this point right here was negative 2, negative 3. Oh, let me change the color here. So this point right here is uh, 2 to the left of that. So it's negative 4, comma, negative 3. That's the focus. That's the vertex. And that's the directrix. And this is my graph.